Okay, before we get involved in all this shiny gear, Teresa, how much sort of alpine experience have you had? I've definitely done more uh, rock climbing, but I've walked over glaciers, you know, all the safety procedures and all things like that. So. Okay. Any mixed so, sort of experience? Ish, once. Well, we went once up to the tour. We so. did actually, yeah. So we went climbing a couple of weeks ago. So. Better ice, nice. Yes. First time? <laughs> yeah, super. How was that? Less sketchy than I thought it would be. But we're going to pick a route that's fairly near a lift, is an ultra classic, and that is this bad boy, the Cosmiques Arete, uh, in the Rock Facts book. Now, it's one of those routes that gets done a huge amount. Um, it's usually quite busy, but because it's early season, we're hoping it's not going to be too bad. Okay, so it's a, it's a snow approach across a glacier, ridge climb, an abseil, a bit of rocky crux climbing, and then an icy gully. It's, it's got everything. Yeah, everything. So let's start, where do we start at the beginning, which is Backpack. backpacks, yeah. Uh, so I've got the Alpha, the Arcteryx Alpha 30 backpack and uh, yeah, it's super, super light. That's why I picked it and it has everything you need for a day trip or even two days. Water resistant pocket for all your valuables, two ice axe loops. It's one size, however, I'm quite small, but still you can uh, adjust it really well because it has two straps, one on the waist and one on the torso. So that is a good looking backpack and you know I love a backpack. I've got many, many, many backpacks and I've got a new one coming, which is the Low Alpine Renegade nice. 28 litre. So similar size to that, a good day pack. You can shove loads of stuff into it. It's got one of those bucket designs. So you just sort of ram everything into the top of it, flip the lid and forget about it. It's meant to be ultra lightweight, but durable. Uh, so it's got a sort of like a coating over the top, which protects from rain, moisture, stuff like that. And that ripstop durable outer to hopefully keep that bag together. That is coming. I'll explain more when it gets here. But as a sort of a, a secondary bag to show you guys as another option, this is the small but beautiful Petzl Bug. I love this little thing. 18 liters, and it's got all the features that you expect to see on a bigger bag like yours. So we've got a rope strap, clip-on points, compression straps, pocket, nice big compartment inside. And for a sort of a one day hit, this is a great little bag and it's bright orange and it's called the Bug, so I love it. Boots, we've both got our set of boots. Yes. But they differ a little bit. So big bad boy B3s. Light uh, summer alpine boots, <laughs> B2s. Okay, so less stiff sole. Yeah. Mine is very stiff, but I'm kind of jealous of yours because, as I said, it's June, it's going to be a bit hotter. I'm going to sweat my feet off in the gaiters on these, but I'm going to keep nice and warm and dry. I think these keep warm enough, even though I am looking to get some warmer ones, because I think I'm, I'm thinking of the, like the Scarfa Alpha ones. Well, oh, the Phantom. 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 Uh, Let's talk about crampons, uh, and there's a big difference between the ones I'm going to wear and Teresa's ones there. Mainly this bit of string slash, not string, it's Dyneema in the middle of the crampons. These are the Edward Shark Lights, fairly new, whereas yours... Uh, Petzl Sharkens. Sarkens. Sarkens. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's all about that bit, right? Yeah, it's nice and sturdy. It's very sturdy compared to that. Yeah, this is, well... It looks like it's going to be flimsy, right? But it's not because of the way it clips on. It does have um, some stiffness underneath the boot. If you're doing faster alpine routes where you don't need technical crampon work, something like this is going to work because it's so light, like ridiculously light. But if the terrain gets more technical, you're talking your foot into cracks. Yeah. Especially with them, them vertical points on that thing yes. compared to the little aluminium ones here. For sure. You know, side side. if things get nasty and icy, yours are going to kick my ass and I'm going to be sort of like holding on to you as you climb up. All right, um, but <laughs> the main thing though is these in the front. Cause yeah, no, it's they don't fit my boot. I don't have a... A toe welt. Toe welt. So you can see when I oh. clip mine in there, it fits into that little gap, whereas Teresa's doesn't have that. It's not the end of the world because most of these crampons come with two attachments and the lever lock attachment is on, on yours all ready to go. So that fits your yeah. boot. On the subject of sharp things, let's talk about ice axes. Uh, and we've got totally different sets here. Yeah, uh, I've got the Cassin X All Mountain uh, Ice Axe, which is a well-balanced, technical, ice climbing, kind of all around uh, ice axe. Because if you compare that to what I'm taking up, which is the Petzl Nomic, you can sort of see there's a real difference in shaft shape uh, for those two different ice axes. We've both gone technical. Yes. The reason behind that is that the Cosmics Rec can be a bit technical, especially early on in the season. We're probably gonna take two ice axes up just in case. But 
if you were later in the season, let's say sort of July, August, on a hot summer, something like this, this is the Petzl Raven, uh, sorry, Black Diamond Raven Ultra. Huge difference in shafts. Straight shaft, curved shaft. This is designed for far less technical terrain, but it is better for plunging in. It's lighter. So if you're doing this like a long walk or something less technical, yeah. an axe like that might be the better choice. But for us, I think we're going to stick with these. Harness-wise, are you using your normal sport climbing harness or are you taking up something different? Well, uh, back home, <laughs> I've got the Mammoth Sapphire. Okay. So it kind of looks like yours. It's super lightweight. I think it's like 250 grams and minimal. You don't feel it. Yeah, it looks like Yeah, well, one. this is the, the, um, the BL Ghost, which I've been banging on about for many, many years. I've been wearing it. Because it's lightweight, it means it dries fast. Because it's really thin, if I get it wet in the snow and then the sun comes out, it's going to be better. Minimalistic design, uh, minimal loops, because you just don't need all that gear on here. The only issue with something like this, and I think yours are similar, is the lack of um, strapping, so lack of a buckle on the legs. Yeah. Now this is fine, unless you want to take your trousers off. So uh, let's say that you're yourself, you need to go for a pee on the glacier. You're going to have to sort of take the whole harness down to then do all the faffy things. This might not be an issue for you, but if you want to be able to take your trousers off on a glacier, then consider a, a buckle on the leg loops, yeah. if that makes sense. Okay, so there are some big holes up there. It's a glacier, there are big holes. They're getting bigger, they global are, warming. Exactly. All of that. Bottomless, those things. Even if you're careful, accidents can happen, snow bridges can collapse, and you can end up in crevasses. And because of that, you need an anchoring system to be able to get yourself out of there or to secure the person while you're in a helicopter. So we need ice screws. These are mine. These are Black Diamond Express <laughs> screws. They're like the workhorse of ice screws. A bit heavier, a bit chunkier. Still the express turny thing at the top, which means for speed you can get these in quickly. But I want these. New baby ultra light. They're uh, bright green. <laughs> They're 45% lighter than their bigger, heavier equivalent. If you look at the 22 centimeter and you weigh them up, you can really feel that difference in weight. Speaking about crevasse rescue, Patzel crevasse rescue kit. <laughs> it's like you're off a cake or something. It's like it's my birthday. You're like, here you go, Matthew. It's good, it's good. Here you go, Matthew. Thank you so much, thank you. What's in the uh, box? Yeah, crevasse rescue kit. Uh, it has all the essentials for a safe crevasse rescue. We won't get into all of that because uh, it could be a whole other video. But I just know that from this box, if I pick everything up in the morning, I have everything for a secure rescue. Yeah. Um, you've got a head torch out on the table. Um, yes. Why? Because we're going to be doing, this is a day route, hopefully. Hopefully. The hopefully word is the crucial thing. Uh, yeah, you never, you never know, you never know. So Petzl Reactic, uh, like the name suggests, it reacts to the situation. And uh, if you're into geeky things, which you are, um, there's like an app for it and everything, so you can check up on the percentage of it and adjust it to the light. Anything with an app I'm getting. A uh, couple of things, I know this is a long one, but helmets are important, especially up on alpine climbers. Um, Petzl Meteor for me. Uh, we've gone through this before. If you want full details, just search for it on YouTube. But I've really enjoyed using this recently. It's very light, it's durable. I've been battering it around uh, and it's only got a few scratches on it. And it's got a head torch compatible strap as well. And the ventilation, big ventilation. You think we're going to be at 3,800 meters. You think it's going to be cold. It's not. It's usually boiling hot up there. Having a bit of venting just means you can cool down a bit. So that's why I love this. I just bought a white one instead so the light reflects off it. Smart. Very smart. Uh, helmet, is that it? Oh, ropes, ropes, ropes. final thing. Um, hang on, oh, have you, right. Uh, two ropes, two rope choices. Now, ropes, again, is one of those, it could be a whole show unto itself, but it's length that you've really got to consider here. That is my brand new, thank you, Edelrid, 30 meter, 8.9 Swift Eco Dry. Uh, you can buy that in all the different sizes on the Epic TV shop. Now, if it was just you and me doing the Cosmiques, I think a 30 meter would do us. It's good enough for the ab sales. We're not really pitching any sections of that, so that would be okay. But there's gonna be three of us. We're gonna take a longer rope, 60 meter, tendon, uh, 8.5 millimeter. This is the old version uh, of the rope that you're seeing on screen now. So there are different colors on the Epic TV website, uh, but I haven't updated yet. So 60 meter rope, 
And that is it. That's I think it. we've. Oh no! One last thing yeah. is gear. Oh, we've got a rack, shiny mini gear. rack. Um, we're going to take slings, a prusset for the ab cells, normal belay plates, new C4 cams from Black Diamond, updated, lighter, better in every single way. There isn't a huge amount of gear here because it's not a rock climb. Yeah, well, just in case, a couple of quick draws though. Yeah, a couple of quick draws in there and we're just going to shove them in as we move together to protect the whole team yeah. on the rock. Whew. Shall right. we pack? We should pack. Okay, we're going to shove all this into a bag. Our plan is next week we're going to take this kit, we're going to go up the Cosmiques and we're going to film it, of course, to show you guys weather dependent, yeah. but with fingers crossed for that good weather. So stay tuned for that. Do comment below if you like any of the stuff you've seen or if you've got any suggestions for us or ideas that we might have missed. And all the products that we've chatted about today is linked in the description. Do you want to sign off? Goodbye. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, you've got to look very serious at the camera. Okay. Say something about the weekend and say see uh, you later. Oh, it's Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Goodbye from the Friday Gear Show. Very good.